You know, you see someone like Elon Musk. I mean, the hell do you make of someone like that? How's one guy able to do so much? And because he's one of our great geniuses and we have to protect our genius. This guy's know? landing rockets. You know, he's landing rockets on, on, on you know, robot, robot drone rafts in the ocean. I think what Elon's done with Tesla is fantastic. I think, uh, um, Elon's absolutely fixated on going to Mars and uh, and that is, is almost, I think, is, is his life mission. And, uh, you know, you can respect Elon Musk for his genius, but you have to really respect it because he puts every cent that he has on the line. So you that guy's a winner. You own a Tesla. Absolutely. Well, I mean, what, what about the He's one of our very smart people. They, they said he, he's sleeping on the floor of the Tesla factory hmm. while they're trying to uh, get production ready. I think that he is, you know, probably the most important um, entrepreneur on the planet. But honestly, after sitting down and talking to him, I, I realized that I'm, I'm now convinced that he's an alien. You know, you see someone like Elon Musk, I mean, the hell do you make of someone like that? You know, I mean, what did he do? He made an electric car, which is basically impossible, and it works, which is basically impossible, and then he built an infrastructure so that you could charge the damn thing wherever you drove, and that was basically impossible, and then he made it cheap, because if you buy an electric car and you factor in the price of gas, the electric car is actually about as expensive as the gasoline car. And so that was unbelievable. And then he built a bloody rocket, which was one tenth the price or less that of a NASA rocket that you could reuse, which was impossible. And then he put one of his cars on top of the rocket and he shot it up into space. And then this happened, right? This all happened, and he's still alive. And <laughs> they, they said he, he's sleeping on the floor of the Tesla factory hmm. while they're trying to uh, get production ready. Hmm. And that Tesla is finally gonna look at this. Elon Musk is stressed, says he's sleeping on the Tesla factory floor and has no time to go home and shower. Wow, that guy's an animal. He really is. Has there ever been a guy who does more shit? No, what he's done, yeah. I mean, think of his, he's in the middle of making this boring company that yeah. bores holes under the ground. And he's make in the, middle a, of the high speed train. High speed train, yeah. yeah. He's in the middle of the Hyperloop. Yeah. He's in the middle SpaceX. of SpaceX. He's in the middle of Tesla production. Yeah. It's just, how does one, how's one guy able to do so much? He's so smart that people just let him drill under the ground in LA. They're like, yeah, go ahead. Go ahead, man. Nobody else, like, who, who the fuck would let anybody just drill under the ground i mean what 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 motivates a guy like that to do so many different things that's what's so confusing he's like yeah he's an he's an incredible we're guy. lucky that we got a guy like that i mean he's he's essentially yeah. like our version of a tesla yeah you know and nikola tesla you know yeah. like a guy who just keeps coming up with new crazier shit to <laughs> it's amazing this guy's landing rockets you know, he's landing rockets on, 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 you know, robot, robot drone rafts in the ocean. And you're saying he doesn't know what he's doing. Well, who else is landing? You ever land a rocket on a robot drone? Who are you? I mean, OK, OK, you're telling me he's an idiot. You're telling me he's an idiot. I just want to know who you are. So I know why should I believe you as opposed to my friend Elon who and we're out here watching this rocket land and not, which I think is really cool and you're there in front of your you know your Apple Macintosh and typing up an article saying Elon's an idiot I especially want to congratulate someone who truly embodies the American ethos of big thinking and risk taking after achieving success as an internet entrepreneur he could have spent his fortune doing anything, including yachting, lots of things. He could do lots of things. But in 2002, he began pouring tens of millions of dollars of his own money into research and development for a new rocket. He's a little different than a lot of other people. He liked rockets. He assembled a crew of some of the greatest minds and talent in American aerospace. In the years since, SpaceX has become the first private company to develop and successfully launch its own rocket into orbit, the first to launch and recover its own capsule, 
And of course, moments ago, SpaceX became the first private company to put humans into orbit around the Earth. Elon Musk, congratulations. Congratulations, Elon. The fact that Elon Musk and others did a great electric car is a huge contribution uh, to the climate change effort. You know, that he did it with quality. It's still a little premium priced, but fine. Uh, you know, he's got that initial market and that market's going to grow and all the other car companies seeing his success will come in. I truly think that he is, you know, probably the most important um, entrepreneur on the planet. And so. you had an encounter with him. Did you seek him out or did he seek you out? Um, God, I wish he seeked me out. No, I, uh, I, I seeked him out. Mm -hmm. I just, I, I actually just wanted to see if I could get kind of a look behind the, the velvet curtains of SpaceX. And mm -hmm. so I was uh, connected with his assistant actually. And um, so she invited me down to SpaceX and she gave me this whole tour and then at the end of the tour, um, she just brought me to Elon's cubicle. And he has a cubicle. Yeah. Yeah, it's a little bigger than the other cubicles, but like how much like it's on the open floor? Yeah, it's just there's no there's no door. I mean, he's just such a a mad genius. I had no idea that I was gonna meet with him, so I sat down with him and he was very engaged in what we were talking about, but you could tell that he was thinking about a thousand other things at once. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. It was so bizarre. Like, I knew he was listening, but also I knew he was thinking about so many other things. Huh. Um, but honestly, after sitting down and talking to him, I, I realized that I'm, I'm now convinced that he's an alien. I really, d I mean, I, there's, what, what other answer is there? I own a Tesla, and don't say anything wrong to me about that company. All right, I invest in it. Just you, all you have to do is get a Tesla or borrow one and drive around and you are sold. These guys are just hedging their bets. They don't want to be wrong in their predictions, so they're taking it down a little. It's all nonsense. So you that own guy's a Tesla. winner. You own a Tesla. Absolutely. Well, I, I mean, love them. what about the competition? The dashboard here, alone too. is enough to just buy. Just if they sold me the dashboard, I'd be happy sitting at home looking at it. <laughs> without wheels, without anything else. Just really? want the dashboard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, that is the concept, though. It is, it is a nicely made car. Better what than I'll nice. It's gorgeous. I never uh, creates a new trick and they never catch up. You always need a, a, a guy that's a wild man like he is to create something new. And by the time the big guys wake up to it, they can never catch up. I'm totally confident in it. I would upgrade this stock and I think I'm going to start something. So I start rating stocks. That's what I do. <laughs> and Tesla's going to get my vote.